They're the workforces of modern life. Commercial trucks deliver packages, move equipment, and pick up the garbage. But these noisy gas guzzlers consume 20 times more fuel than a passenger car, while spewing tons of greenhouse gases and other pollutants. They get very nice control. That's why Tesla Motors co-founder Ian Wright wants to make trucks cleaner and greener, like this one. It runs on an electric engine made by the company he started after he left Tesla a decade ago. So we make electric powertrains for trucks, and the point of all this is to save fuel and to save pollution. Wright Speed is installing its motor trains on two dozen FedEx trucks, and it's growing quickly as fleet owners retrofit their vehicles to meet stricter emission standards. If you can take this truck that you've invested all this money in, and it's still in good shape, and you can swap out the powertrain for our powertrain, and suddenly your emissions is compliant. While trucks aren't as sleek as a Tesla sports car, Wright believes his company can do more to reduce carbon pollution. I think what they've done is absolutely fantastic. But what we're doing is the next thing. It's even better. Texas commercial trucks drive a lot and they use a lot of fuel. While more consumers are switching to electric cars, convincing commercial truck owners to change won't be easy. If you want to sell a fleet owner an electric truck, you have to convince them that it's better than what they're already using. So the bar is set very high. The challenge is actually very high. Lou Rado's waste recycling company is installing right speed motor trains on 17 of its garbage trucks and could retrofit many more if the technology works as promised. Diesel is an older technology that's proven it's been successful, but you know, why not take a chance on something that's got great cost savings that can maybe be better than anything we've seen before? A question more truck owners may start asking if new technology can cut costs and pollution. Terry Che, Associated Press, San Jose, California.